Hello my dear students and viewers welcome to my channel Scorpio class if you are looking for class 10 social studies notes of revised syllabus 2022 then you are on the right platform and watching the right video as in this video we are going to discuss class 10 history chapter the first war of indian independence 1857 question and answers this video is going to provide you all the answers of this lesson and it's going to be very helpful and informative for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And my dear viewers, if you want all the other lesson notes of class 10 social studies as well as of English subject, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link where you will find notes and explanation of all the chapters of English and social. The link will also be shared in the i button above. Now let's move ahead but before that if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Now let's get started with the first main fill in the blank with suitable words. First fill up. British historians refer to the 1857 revolt as dash. Answer is sepoy mutiny. Next. The policy brought into force by Delousey was dash. Answer is doctrine of lapse. Next. Dash killed the British major during the 1857 revolt. Answer is Mangal Pandey. Next. Jansi Rani fought against British and took dash under her control. Answer is Gwalior. Now let's go to the second main. Answer the following questions. The first question is, what were the effects of the doctrine of lapse? Analyze. Answer. The effects of the doctrine of lapse were, the doctrine of lapse implemented by Dilauzi, Satara, Jaipur, Jansi, Udaipur and other kingdoms came under British control with this policy. The Mughal Sultans, the Nawab of Aud and other kings were dethroned of their kingly status. Consequently, lakhs of soldiers who were dependent on these kings became unemployed. Okay, so these were the effects of doctrine of lapse. Next question. The economic changes of the time were responsible for the 1857 revolt. How? Answer. The Industrial Revolution in England gave a great blow to Indian handicrafts and cottage industries. As a result, the Indian craftsmen became unemployed. Primarily, the textile and wool industries became sick and naturally the people lost their jobs. The cottage industries were ruined. The British imposed heavy tax on the sale of Indian goods in England. Under the zamindari system brought by the British, the landlords exploited the farmers' classes. The British appointed Inam Commission. Through this commission, all the gifted lands were taken from the members. Due to this, the farmers financial problems increased. These economic changes of time were responsible for 1857 revolt. So these were the economic changes of the time which were responsible for the revolt of 1857. Now let's go to the next question. What were the factors that disturbed the religious sentiments of the soldiers during 1857 revolt? Answer. The factors that disturbed the religious sentiments of the soldiers during the 1857 revolt were the pressure put on Indian soldiers for overseas work triggered resentment among them due to their religious beliefs. The British started providing Royal Enfield guns, a type of new and improved guns. A rumor spread that the bullets of these guns were smeared in the fat of pig and cow. The cow was sacred for Hindus and the pig was prohibited for Muslims. 
the soldiers were forced to cross the ocean to serve on foreign land which disturbed the indian religious sentiment so these were the causes for religious sentiments of the soldiers which gave a way for the revolt of 1857 next question what were the immediate causes for the first war of independence answer the immediate causes for the first war of independence were the british started providing royal enfield guns a type of new and improved guns a rumor spread that the bullets of these guns were smeared in the fat of pig and cow the cow was sacred for hindus and the pig was prohibited for muslims an indian soldier named mangal pande killed a british official subsequently he was arrested tried and hanged this became the immediate cause for the mutiny so these were the immediate causes for the revolt the next question make a list of the reasons for the failure of the revolt answer the reasons for the failure of the revolt were the movement did not spread to the whole country this struggle was intended to protect the interests of a few rather than getting freedom for the country instead of being an organized struggle it erupted due to certain unexpected reasons the unity among the british forces and lack of it among the indian soldiers also led to the failure there was no proper direction or proper leadership there was a lack of strategy expertise among soldiers effective leadership discipline and direction many provincial kings on account of the loyalty to the british did not support the struggle the people lost confidence in the soldiers due to their plundering and looting now next question what were the features of the declaration of the british queen in 1858 answer the features of the declaration of the british queen in 1858 were the agreements made by the east india company with the kings were accepted ambitious expansion plans had to be given up a stable government had to be provided to indians there would be equality before law the government would exhibit religious tolerance and not to interfere in religious matters of the country so these were the features of the declaration of the british queen in 1858 so with these question answers we come to an end with the notes of this chapter i hope this answers were helpful and informative for you all if you found the video helpful and informative and if you liked it do hit the like button and share it with your friends to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos thank you